Hello and welcome to our newscast. I'm Daniel Che. We begin with the horrific terror attacks in Paris that have shocked the world. The death toll has now climbed to 129, with some 350 wounded, at least 99 of whom are in critical condition. French investigators have identified one of the suspected attackers, and President Francois Hollande has declared three days of mourning as messages of condolences pour in from around the world. Yi Suwen has the latest. The Paris prosecutor announced the day after the attacks that seven suspected attackers had been, quote, neutralized, though it was unclear whether that meant they had been killed. Francois Moland said Saturday that it is very likely that the seven had coordinated the attacks in three separate groups. Three of the seven are dead. One was killed outside the Bataclan concert hall, and the other two detonated suicide vests in the same location, though other suicide bombings have been reported in other locations. However, the total number of attackers is still unclear. Molin also identified two of the suspects, one of whom is a French-born citizen. He was born in France on November 21, 1985. He caught the police's attention because of a violation of public power. Police also found a Syrian passport at the site of the Stade de France bombing, belonging to a Syrian national who was born in September 1990. Local media reported that a Greek official confirmed it was a Syrian migrant who arrived in Europe in October. World leaders have condemned the Paris attacks. French President François Hollande called the attacks an act of war organized by the Islamic State group and declared three days of mourning. And in cities around, people have gathered in front of French embassies, public squares and landmarks, lit in the colors of the French national flag to mourn the victims. We all feel very sad today about uh, the events in Paris. Uh, we wanted to express solidarity to all the people. It hurt a lot. But here we are all together and we stay strong together and try to stay as close as we can to face this. That message has been echoed around the world as the world stands with Paris in the wake of this terrible tragedy. Isuin, Arirang News.